Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros, fake news. Having a little trouble today, kids. We got rocks last night. Mm. We got rocks. We had a Ugh. little party at the studio last night, and uh, Dan is going for it on every down. You're drinking White Claw. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't get hungover. Uh, no, I, uh, I get we we get children to do you, it this you've, afternoon. You've so seen I me can't participate in that. You've seen me le- less than him, I guess, but you've seen me fucking drink. Yes, and just bounce back the next day and drink all over again. I don't you know what it is Jared, about my body. You, I, I I don't really see you and Jared get hungover. I, I think I've only seen you <clears throat> and Jared hungover once. Uh, you was in because New Orleans you guys one continue night. drinking. Jared was at his house. And he did not get. It. He did not. Oh, New Orleans after day. me, you, Josh, and Clayne fucking cruised through uh, the French Quarter that night. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, got me in. It was it was uh, Rock, it Rocky was, Balboa. It was Greg Lane from uh, from from our ticket company. Correct. That motherfucker wouldn't stop buying. Who you would have shot? I'm like, I guess, dude. We're in New Orleans. Let's yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. And then oh. I reached a point where I didn't have the ability to say no anymore. <laughs> so I <laughs> you feel like, like didn't know what that word was. Yeah, I think maybe uh, Greg. <laughs> Uh, me too. Me, to be maybe honest. you never know. Ooh. Not he didn't rape me. He raped me with alcohol. Like he, I, I didn't have the ability con- to consent at that point. And sure, I'd, sure, uh, sure. Uh, sure. Uh, uh. Yeah. And we did see some weird shit outside too. Well, it's New Orleans. Yeah, let's face it. It was great. Yeah, it great time. Great. great time. Jared was at his house, and I, I'm torn to say that he was hungover because he did have E. coli shortly there afterwards. <laughs> so that could have uh, just yes, been a yes, coli yes. setting into his his system. Jesus but uh, yeah, we'll see. Sure. We'll see. What? What's up, Giorgio? Uh, um, well, sw- swap on over, if you will, to the big dog. The big dog. Uh, we got a lot going on in the news today, kids. Uh, shit's wild. Not that that's a huge uh, shit's shock. Uh, shit's been wild, wild shit's for wild. some time now. Yes. I mean, yeah. all of 2020 is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good's happened. No. Not one good thing has happened in 2020. Oh. Like, name one good thing that's happened. Oh, my, my kid was... Well, fuck your kids, okay? Yeah. yeah. Don't fuck them. I'm just saying. Don't, uh, I mean, <laughs> figure, well, figure that we speak. Uh, the, Calm down. My, the, the Super today, Bowl was good and the national championship was good. That's good. The I Super feel Bowl like when great. Kobe died, everything went uh, uh, off mm. the rails. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, speaking of... Uh, being off the rails. It's my dog's birthday today. Oh, is Morty. he listening? Is he watching? Oh, yeah, he's he's at home watching my brothers with him right now. Uh, I'm gonna get him. A You're watching the show. Uh, no, probably not. Well, yeah. Do you do he's anything for your dog on his birthday? Yeah, I used, I used yes. to. I, I'll get him like a cheeseburger or something. Yeah, or maybe so some Chick Fil A. I used to make my dog a steak on his birthday. A steak. That's yeah. a bit. Well, these are little dogs. They can't handle a steak. Well, same. So I would get like a little skirt steak. It was mm. like two bucks. Yeah. You know, fry that up real quick and give mm-hmm. it to him. And I was like. Happy birthday. And I you would, can eat your shitty dog food the rest of the year. I guess I could do that. I could sous vide. A nice, oh, my God. A yeah. nice yeah. Why not? A little Wagyu. Why not? Fucking center cut. If you could send us a picture of you and your dog eating by candlelight, it would be fantastic. Mm, yeah, I'd probably do that. Two little little bibs on, like happy I don't birthday. Have he probably bibs has that in his phone already. I don't. Well, I've got a picture of him eating like a turkey meatball. I used to make him turkey meatballs, too. Ah, you don't say. And oh, then fresh. fucking put little candles in there. and Yeah. Yeah, he's a... He's a dick too, that dog. Do you ever do like the noodle? Do you feed him like a noodle and you guys are both? No, that's uh, Lady I don't. and the Tramp. Yeah. It's no, I, that, tramp, you don't Lady in, in the Tramp, your dog? Your dog? No, he, Morty won't do that. But Jay, the older one, he, he'll, he likes to eat uh, pasta like that and he'll slurp it up. It's funny as shit. But he, he, if my face gets too close to his, I think he would freak out. Yeah. Oh, so he's yeah. like you. Uh, Big Dick Denoff is in the room. He says Columbus, Ohio is now forcing masks. You know what Columbus, Ohio can do is change their fucking name to Flavortown. Flavortown. Do it already. As a matter of fact, uh, this whole country needs to be called Flavortown. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about the guy, America, that that called it America when he landed here. I mean, that was his name, Americus or some Mm -hmm. shit like that. I don't remember what his fucking name was. Really? It was like Dave America, I think his name was. Yeah. And... uh, that's Steve why Steve America, Steve, Steve America. Dave or Steve. I think they were brothers, uh, <laughs> but like one of them was adopted. And they don't know which one it was. Yeah. Sure, uh, a lot and, like uh, Dave and Buster. Complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah. But anyways, uh, can you imagine the U.S. flag? If we changed the name of the country to Flavor Town, like fuck so these bright. stars, man. I don't care about the states. Yep, flames. flames. Let's get. Oh, I'm, let's get I'm a big fan of getting rid of the fucking stars. And here's why. Because <laughs> it's just like, why, why do, does each state need to re- be represented individually? We're supposed to be working together here. Yeah. One big picture of fucking Guy Fieri is all we need. Fresh, blonde dye. Yeah. Um, just Guy Fieri's face with the fresh, blonde dye. 
and made, it's flames instead of bars. Yeah, flame. Well, the bars are representative of the thirteen colonies, and I think that's probably racist now too, right? It is. Everything's yeah, yeah, racist yeah. now. Like, so put get flames on the. Flag. I'll tell you who's not racist, and that is uh, Guy Fieri. Uh, yeah. As long as your um, food is good, he loves you. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> my God, we could all learn so much from him. I'm serious. I get it. I get it. I just love him. You, I'm all it's in it's on weird. Fieri. I I feel like there should be. Uh, some version of juggalos but who follow guy fieri why aren't there mm-hmm. why why doesn't he have like a group of people who dress and act like him all the time they i mean not all the time but they do right they do. Yeah, i think alex looking it up but yeah the they Fieris, do they do it to the be fieri they do it to be like fun to be like funny fun, and stuff funny, like, no i'm fieri talking about Day. like juggalos don't dress up like fucking uh i don't know clowns or whatever yeah, to sure. be funny, they do it because it's part of their fucking little group or whatever. I yeah, think. yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's kind of goofy, it's but it's their community. It's their way of life. Uh, Fieri. Yeah, which uh. is fine. I mean, you know, do your thing. We we all wear fucking camo hats and shit over here. Sure. I'm fine with. It. I'm just saying, more people. How funny would it be if there was a convention and there's like six thousand people dressed like fucking Guy Fieri? It'd be great. Is there not like Santa Con? I yeah. so that's what I would want. I, in New York. I ran into them and they were on my Instagram. I ran into twenty Fieris. Right, but um, I think it was like a bachelor. It was a party bachelor party. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, uh, he deserves to have a city named after him. I'm all for Flavor Town as the new name of Columbus, Ohio. Mm. And uh, it was Brooke's husband's dick I was talking about last night. I, I just was. remembered. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but I will. You will. <laughs> and uh, I believe you asked You're going to, to? to fuck him last night. I said I, I didn't oh, yeah. I didn't ask her permit. I don't need her fucking permission. I, I just said that I would. Yeah. What's oh, oh, there, there we are. Go. Yeah. So, dude, that's I have a picture with them. Those uh, those guys in New York City. So maybe it's like a fucking full thing that I don't know about. Where is he from? Fieri Fest. They're saying it's a thing. Fieri Fest? Yeah. Fieri Con. Bar Crawl. So I don't he, know. He's, that, he's from Columbus. That's why. So you, you got to get like. He is from the, Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, the Are Cincinnati, you serious? The Cincy, yes, he is. So yeah, the, Cincy, the, point. the Cincinnati Reds. You know how like when you're uh, like they had the guys, the, the Big Mac zone for yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah. Mark McGuire in St. Yeah. Louis and then whatever the one was called for Barry Bonds. And he'd like something like that. For Guy Fieri in the Cincinnati Reds, the Great American Ballpark, put a statue in front of the capital of, of of Columbus. Now that I know, now that I know that he's from Columbus, Ohio, this is the first I'm finding out about this. It makes total sense that he does what he does in this life because all of the fucking great test food and all that shit is in Columbus, Ohio. They Why don't? All that yeah, there. that's true. Yeah, they have the the what is it called? Uh, PepsiCo that owns Taco Bell and all mm-hmm. that bullshit in KFC. They have one, and then. Uh, McDonald's has one as well. Yeah, I, I was. But there's another. I told company. this story in Ross Patterson Revolution. Like I had pizza one time at McDonald's. They were. Testing it's all the out weird pizzas. shit. Yeah, they tested. It there. didn't make it. It wasn't very good, but it didn't make it, so it doesn't Fuck. go out to the rest of the world. But Columbus is the test market. Why don't we just fucking shit. start a GoFundMe and mm-hmm. build like a statue like that? What is it going to cost? Like fifteen, twenty grand? Let's just build one and take it there and fucking leave it and just leave it. In like the, they're not going to fucking move it. Yeah, statues no, are heavy. Can you, well, I mean, it's heavy, too, but why would they even think about moving it? Because yeah. it's going to look so goddamn dope. I know. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be like the Rocky statue in Philadelphia. Um, either way, I hope this goes down. Flavortown is the next step in if you're out there, as a country. If you're out there and you know somebody that makes statues like this, let us know. DM we, us. We will absolutely fucking start a GoFundMe and... and and make get a, shit happen. and get a thing, even if it's just a, a statue outside of room. Go studio. to Instagram at st james st james or at dan holloway mm-hmm. and DM us a good bronze statue maker. Those are yeah. rare in this world, but we need a, a contact yeah. for it. And then go to at Jesse Wiseman and tell her to get fucked. Yeah, yeah. Brother, let's get into the news, shall we? As always, we're here to bring you the realest, fakest news it's of strange. the week. Some of it is uh, real, but some of it might be fake. Um, and okay. uh, Giorgio, you look like you're having a fucking meltdown over there. Does yours look fine, or is it not going? Uh, mine's Keith? flickering. Oh. My, mine looks all right. Dan's looks fine. Dan's looks fine, dude. So, oh, there it is. Okay, There's it's frozen. Little, there was a little pause right there. Yeah, a little pause, a little not pause. Well, what is going on with the internet? Is it on the five G, two G? What it? You are now. Um, and that is the flickering. <clears throat> ah, I've, we've gotten nothing from the people at home, so I say we give them what they want. Yeah, this is loud. just another reason to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they said our internet was fixed. Anyways. Yeah. Um, Do a speed test, Giorgio. You know? But we're going to keep... We're going to soldier we'll on. We'll just keep 
going. For the live show on YouTube, whatever happens, happens at this point. Audio-wise, you're going to hear this and be like, what the fuck's going on? Bunch of tech problems here that yeah. will be solved very quickly in Austin, Texas. Uh, going to get that Google Fiber square of our b-holes. They open up a Google downtown. Yeah, it's been there for I think two years now. Yeah, yeah. and all the all and the Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. I've actually yeah. been to the Facebook campus there. It's fucking crazy. Is it really? Yeah, I haven't been yet. It's like they own. Uh, it's a big building downtown, and they own a number of floors. And at least two of the floors are just food. No shit. Yeah. Look at that. Like they have restaurants inside of it. Oof, look at this. Now it's I'm listening. It. It's like a cafeteria style, but they have fucking really good food. Now and they I also know. have like uh, just walls of of refrigerators that have whatever the fuck you could possibly imagine in there. Oh my gosh. Like heaven. Like chocolate heaven. You, just, you just walk by and take whatever the fuck you want and go back oh. to your chocolate dildos and, what a, and a, dream. a taco. I want a taco from Jack. What a dream. Yeah, it's uh it's good. That, that get, Zuck, he's a really great guy. Yeah, huh? you gotta stay yeah, you is. gotta you gotta keep your nutrition up if you're gonna fucking spy on American <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, You're gonna work Facebook. all through the night listening to people <laughs> fuck and this stealing their shit. The yeah. first story of the week American Airlines and the NHL do not <laughs> give a baker's fuck about social distancing clearly american airlines announced this week that they will be resuming full capacity flights jesse will be on one on monday i will um, are you gonna hold hands with whomever's next to you well it's our children but yeah, yeah. that's gross probably yeah. uh look it's brought in criticism huh. from uh, cdc director robert redfield who can get fucked on this and i'll yeah. tell you why american airlines decided to do this because they said we're going bankrupt we have no choice but to sell out these seats and keep our business yeah. going. And the government is in this whole uh, bailout thing has been incompetent so far. Right. And it's not helping the airlines. We're down to like, what, four airlines already? Yeah. As shitty as American mm. Airlines is, we still need them because we fucking fly. Well, I mean, if you think banks are too big mm. to fail, you can always start a new fucking financial institution. Starting a new airline, though, is yeah, really is. difficult. Yeah. If Big Dick Branson couldn't do it. Yeah. And let's face it, Virgin, if, you, if you've ever flown on a Virgin flight, it is the greatest goddamn thing of all time. Yeah. How that didn't explode, um, it must have been really fucking difficult financially behind the scenes. Because if he pulls the plug, you know shit was not making money. Yeah, but I think it was just, it's name, with stuff like that, mm -hmm. name recognition, mm -hmm. you got to go with tried and true, right? Virgin. When you're up in a fucking airplane, you don't want to be like, oh, let's Best. go with that new one. It was a the party well, in the sky. You can talk to the sky. You can fucking, if you've got any questions about the qualifications necessary to fly on some of the shittier airlines, go ask Jared about that because he can tell you all the stats, like how many flight, how much flight time you need. It's not that much. No, not oh, at all. Oh, God. Yeah, for real. For, for right. like, for like yeah. what's the shitty one? Frontier and uh, Sun, Spirit. Spirit, Sun Spirit. something. Yeah. Sun Country. Uh -huh. Yeah, those, I think it's like. I think you need about a quarter of the hours. I think they let <laughs> women. I think kidding. they let women do it. Even. Oh no, nobody does Oof. that. That's well, I've never seen I a saw one. Pilot. They, I, I've, saw, I've seen one before. Did you I've really? never been more nervous <laughs> in my life. Did she have like? Uh, She's older like gal a, too. Was there a vanity mirror in the fucking cockpit? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So it, it she's was, doing her makeup. Uh -huh, and stuff, it was all. Eyeliner. Obviously, lipstick. I've never done makeup because I just did this. <laughs> You're just like, this she's is. just doing her makeup. You just, you just clown paint <laughs> you just, your yeah. face. Grab a fucking handful and smear <laughs> yeah, it yeah. on. God, I wish. But, uh, yeah, they. They don't care. They, and they don't uh, care. And the other big organization that just does not give a fuck is the NHL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for uh, their training camps, they just said, no, we're not doing any of that stuff. Nope. No quarantines. I mean, you can't social distance. What's the fucking point? Yes. So at that point, if you're not quarantining at all, <laughs> if there's no bubble or quarantine bubble and you're not like you're not able to social distance, are you are you even going to wear the mask at that point? Like, I, what would be the point? I don't know. The other thing is, if you're out there and you, you've known hockey players, you play hockey. These are the most disgusting. Oh, they don't give two fucks. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, if you don't know the guy uh, from the Sharks, Brent Burns, at Black Rifles, uh -huh. been working with. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, he's. I mean, they're all fucking dirtbags, man. Oh, the, like to the nth degree. And they're, they're, it's the only like. There's some tough people that play professional sports, but man, you gotta, you gotta. It's a stretch to find somebody tougher than taking a puck to the face, losing teeth, literally having yeah. your gums sewn up, and then going back in the fucking game. Yeah, that's fucked up. One of my buddies uh, played for Ohio State, and it's, he was on a full ride. And it's hard to get a full ride at Ohio State to play hockey. <laughs> and uh, he was on those traveling teams as a kid. And mm -hmm. I go, his, his room always stunk like the equipment, you know? Uh, like, how do you clean it? it? No, they, there's a, there's a, it's the same stuff that they use. I can't remember the name of it. There's actually one that's really good. 
that uh, police use to clean their gear and shit. Yeah. But you like, I think, um, God, I think Mike, the, Mike the cop actually promotes it sometimes. But you spray it on your gear. Yeah. But that does. I mean, how much is that really doing? So he said, That's basically he goes, you're, look, for, you're for breezing your fucking equipment. Essentially. Yeah. And he said, look, a lot of players are superstitious, and he goes, nobody washes. He goes, the locker room, smells. especially in the fucking playoffs, Ass- dude. Oh, dude. They don't shave or fucking. They wear the same undershirt. They the don't whole do time. anything. Like this, and I go, what's the what's the worst story? Like, what's the grossest? Because you guys are all disgusting dirt bags. Yeah. And he was like, oh, which one? He's like, you want to talk about the, 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 the one where we paid a girl in Canada who was like 240 pounds so mm. like eight of us could fuck her in a row? And I was like, nope, I uh, don't want to hear that one. No, and no one goes, wants to hear uh, that. No. Oh, he goes, you want to hear about uh, when I was 15 years old on a traveling team and they made me jack off like uh, in front of everyone and they, and they timed me to see who would, you know, if my time was okay. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Is that part of the trial? Yes. And he goes, dude, we're all disgusting dirt bags. And that's the thing. He goes, if you're going to fight next to these people in and out every single night, like mm-hmm. you need to know all the dis- most disgusting details and you need to be able to get on people. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Hockey players don't give a fuck. Clearly not. Well, so this is, uh, they announced, it's so funny. They clearly don't care. I, when I say no, they, when I say they, I mean the NHL, the organization, the league doesn't give a fuck because They'll, they will go bankrupt as well. I believe they're in the same situation. Maybe, yeah. They're, they, they announced what was it Monday? I think that 15 of the 250 players tested positive for COVID, and then that, like two days later, they're like, "Yeah, we're not doing any of that shit." Yeah, <laughs> like, it's just, it's so different than the way everybody else is handling shit. I'm kind of curious to see how it goes. And the commissioner just said, "Who cares?" At the end of that article. Yeah, and then he pulled his dick out. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. No, no, really, it, he's what a got dream. A, he's got a weird tattoo on his dick. I couldn't tell what it was, but I mean, yeah, it looked like a maple leaf. Yeah. Um, the the biggest thing that I'm curious to see is if. They're able to pull this off and actually play with coronavirus and all that shit, and, he, and they truly don't care. Um, I, I don't think you'd be able to get away with this in any other sport except for hockey, yeah. knowing how disgusting they are, where it's just like, all right, I think other people would care about their brand and their social media and all this other shit, whereas no. hockey players don't give a shit. Their biggest star is arguably, what, Alex Ovechkin, wouldn't you say? Dan? What about him? He's their biggest star. Yeah, I suppose he is still. Right. I mean, like, he's there's, missing teeth. Pull up a picture. There's, he's currently missing teeth. Has never bothered to get them fixed. He he's kind of on at, like the tail end of his career, but it looks like he's still a great. He's scorer. had the greatest year of his career. Look at that. Yeah. This guy doesn't give a shit. No, they get smashed in I the think face he all dr- the time. He drunk beer out of his own skate after he won the the title. Well, that I mean, Street Bike Tommy drank beer out of fucking Crispy's goddamn yeah, prosthetic dude. leg. You think coronavirus affects a guy like that? Fuck no! It's just another day at the job for him. Yeah, I'm I'm not at all worried about uh, Street Bike Tommy Tommy Pasamani getting fucking COVID. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's for like some he's in, he's incubating so many different viruses yeah. and diseases oh, yeah, 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 yeah. right now. Between him and Jared, you kidding me? Yeah, but I'm not worried the about the hygiene Ovechkin. hypothesis. Is like <laughs> I'm not worried about the NHL. I want to see all of these guys play with coronavirus, and I, I want to see what happens. Um, it would be a great case study, and I think they're they're slated currently to go back July 15th. And I know I said I don't, I don't expect sports to happen this mm. year, but if if one league is going to do it, it's the dirty ass fucking NHL. Yeah. Probably. So, Shit. we'll see what happens. Ob at the at the time that it stopped, he was tied for the league leading goals again. I mean, he's that's what I'm saying. Like he's he's going to win the MVP this year. He's got an outside chance. He's uh, he's 38 years old. He's 34. Is he really? Yeah, looks like he's 100. He he does look old, but he's uh he's got an outside chance at breaking the goals record, which would be incredible because nobody thought anybody would come anywhere close to that. So Gretzky, yeah. Yeah, I look, hockey players play forever, too. So, who knows? But, look, I said go to an American Airlines. Don't fucking go bankrupt over this shit. Like, do what you have to do um, to survive because uh, the, the government sure isn't going to fucking help you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And as, and as shitty as I think that airline is, as much as I hate flying it, we're down to four. And I don't really have a fucking choice. So, I, we need them to stay open. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll bite the fucking bullet on that one. Because that last flight we were on from American was shit, too. Yeah. Um, they don't serve booze anymore or food. They don't get up. There's no the, the stews. Don't get up and do anything for you anymore. Mm-mm. Yeah, why are they even on the fucking plane? Exactly, does it make any sense? Like exactly. A, I I understand you got to keep the flights money? going, but they yeah. should. I, certainly, they're not having as many flight attendants, right? Like usually, the only reason they're on the plane, yeah, they seem to be fine. The only reason they're on the plane is to tell you to wear your fucking mask because you have to do that on American. Tell Airlines. you to wear your mask, and if you absolutely need. Something, but doesn't Delta yeah. use? They don't even have presentations by the the flight attendants anymore. It's a video route. It's all video. Yeah. So like, really, kind of obsolete, just to piss us off because we can't get alcohol from them. Oof. Or food. 
You know the beauty of Virgin. Um, you just tapped your seat, Ugh. swiped your card, and then they brought you whatever drink or food you ordered from the back. You never saw them. God damn it, big the dick. Blue Branson. Mosa. Had it, had that reminds. Is that what it was? Yeah, the Blue Mosa. That, oh. that reminds me. Wasn't Uber supposed to be coming out with uh, silent mode, where yes. you could check it and the driver knows not to talk knows to you? Knows not to talk to like, you. Like I want to do that on my whole life. Yeah. Is there a way to do that? Yeah, show the inside um, of that virgin right there, uh, that other shot. I think your the, whole uh, look is kind of doing it. It helps. Yeah, it does yeah, help, yeah. 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 Oh, look at that. It was a party in the oh, sky, such dude. such a dream. None of the windows were open when you walked on the plane either because they uh, knew uh. you were hungover and didn't want to fly in. What, anyway. yep. what was that airline that had snakes on it? Uh, it was uh, <laughs> Sam Jackson. Mm. Snakes on a plane? <laughs> Yeah. Um, Samuel L. Jackson Airlines. Oh, what a dream. It's never going to be like that again. No, the world sucks. Next up, Russia has been paying jihadists to kill Americans. Um, there's a lot going on here, so let's let's kind of start from the beginning on this yeah. one. U.S. intelligence discovered some time ago that Russians were paying the Taliban bounties for killing U.S. and U.S. allied soldiers. Congress has confirmed this. Um, I didn't know that. They confirmed that they have the intelligence but uh, there's a there's a lot going on. So the GOP side said they were still analyzing uh, the intel on this. But it seems like I, I saw something today that said that uh, we weren't going to retaliate. Uh, Shithead uh, John Bolton told colleagues, however, that he had presented this information to Trump in March of 2019 while still the national security advisor. Something doesn't make sense here. Um, it would be a rare thing if a top intelligence official briefed the president on something. Uh, where the intelligence wasn't already pretty conclusive. Yeah, you like so the president gets uh, the PDB, the presidential daily brief. It's like a magazine, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's about 11, 11 to eighteen pages. It used to be. Now it's yeah. like just a couple because mm -hmm. Trump had it truncated. I well, I, I know Obama did first, and then a Trump little bit. Did, yeah. yeah, like it used to be like forty some pages, and mm -hmm. he took it down to eighteen, and Trump took it down further. Yeah. I mean, it's basically like there's pe people were critical of that at the time, but basically it's like a bluff. Bottom line up front, mm -hmm. BLUF. So all the pertinent information is in there, and if he needs to look deeper, then the files are there. Right, right. So it's not that big a deal. But I'm th this whole situation is pretty fucked up. It seems like um, it seems like the f the the intel first got presented in the PDB uh, in March of 2019. I think is what what we're hearing, but it didn't rise to the level of actually doing something. Like it wasn't actionable intelligence yet. Mm -hmm. It was just like, hey, we we're hearing chatter about this or whatever. Um, so obviously, everybody on the left wants to say, "Oh, fucking Trump in Russia, man! He's doing this or that." I don't know. It is a weird situation. I don't really know what's going on here. It's weird that we've known about it this long and it's never been made public. Here's um, here's my uh, first thoughts when I when I read this article, Dan, and you can tell me if this is true or false. Mm -hmm. I just assume that other countries are always trying to kill our troops. Um, Bounty or no bounty. And I, yeah. I bet you this has probably been going on for years. And I have to assume, for uh, us Americans as well, there's probably been bounties placed on Russian troops no. at some point. No, no, no. You don't think so? No. No, we killed them directly. So what, what is that? Explain we, that for a dumb, dumb civilian like myself. So Russia has started to use private military companies to do their shit, right? They don't mm -hmm. deploy their own soldiers anymore. Although they technically are their own soldiers, so I guess it's it's kind of a... That's a nuanced take on it, but um, they don't like. For example, they're not sending. Th there are Russian troops in Syria and shit like that, but for the most part, the people that we've run into are are PMC. Do you, do you remember the story from what was it like a year and a half ago, maybe, where all these Russian par paramilitary dudes yes. showed up somewhere and America just lit them the fuck up? Yeah, like they sh killed a lot of people. Um, th those kind of incursions happen a lot more than you hear about. We've killed a lot of Russians. Um, no shit. Yeah, yeah we, we, you it's don't not, ever hear about that. Well, you don't. You don't want to fucking like Russia doesn't want to fucking admit it happened. And we don't want the bad press. So most of the time, unless somebody finds out about it, it just goes unnoticed. Did you ever get phrase. into anything like this when you were over there? No, like, there weren't a lot of Russians in Iraq. Mm. No, not they that, just not said that fuck I'm aware it, right? Of. I mean, they were they were sending for sure. They were sending, uh, particularly the beginning part of the war, like night vision and shit like that. And mm. they were they were sending. Um, uh, RPG 29s, I believe the ones with the uh, the fucking it's, it's not Sabo, but it's like an HEDP round that'll punch through armor and stuff like that. They were funding those, sending them to Iran, and Iranians were pushing them across the border to to ISIS and shit like that. So, like they've been directly involved, but I don't think they have actual troops on the ground in Iraq, like they do in Syria and some of the other places. When you go into a war like Iraq, and look, I, I know 
you and everybody else military wise who's been on the show <laughs> has talked about it of like we should have never been there you know in the first place um when you're in something like that where clearly there's probably not going to be a winner and something's going to be dragged out yeah russia funds this shit or other countries china whoever to just prolong it to kill fucking troops and uh and essentially drag all the money out of the american accounts right because these wars cost billions mm. of dollars no 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 trillions the iraq war i think our bill for the iraq war so far is seven trillion are you fucking kidding me no god damn it it man. was it was five trillion by the time obama came into office and started drawing things down man yep. that's crazy yeah so you it would just benefit you as a country the more and more you could fucking drag this shit out and have america uh, pay for it i mean it benefits uh war is good for business i guess you know i mean it is what it's well it's not good for the american people but it's good for the military industrial complex boeing and lockheed mm-hmm. and all these fucked up goddamn companies i mean like uh uh KBR Kellogg, yeah, um, Cheney's company Halliburton. Halliburton owns KBR actually, mm. uh, but um, yeah, there's there's a gajillion of them. Raytheon, uh, something, Nor- Northrop Grumman. I mean, there's all these companies. They're the fucking sc- biggest scumbags on earth. Every single one of these fucking people. So was John Bolton full of shit? Yes or no? Um, yes, absolutely full of shit. Yep. Really. Uh, and how would how do you like he's he his no, narrative no. is that oh, the fucking president knew about this and didn't do anything it's not actionable intelligence so yeah he didn't do anything about it i mean that, that's what the intel community is saying to us right now is that it wasn't actual and it still is not actionable intelligence right now but his narrative is trying to he's just trying to say that fucking trump is is in bed with russians that's been his thing the whole time. Mm-hmm. Really, what he's trying to do is promote his goddamn book, which, by the way, sold seven hundred eighty thousand copies on massive day, uh, day one amount of copies, or week one rather. Only second behind Michelle Obama in the last two years. So yeah. I want to point that out as um, far as memoirs go. So yeah, the current national security advisor, the guy that replaced Bolton, said that the intelligence has not been verified yet. That the administration is informed and preparing a response based on the final intelligence. Well, today, um, the White House said that they were, that Trump's not convinced. That this is real or some shit like that. I don't. I don't know exactly what they're trying to say here, but uh, he. They said that they don't have any direct plans to do anything about it right now. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're not going to do anything. Look, if you're fucking engaged in a fucking covert war, you don't go to the press. Tell the press, yeah. Like what? Shut the yeah. fuck up. Man. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> we're in the fucking tell me culture, though. That's tell what me. I always say. I'm like, dude, we're all dumb. Like, like do don't you- tell me shit because I won't really understand. The ins and outs of it, right? You know, yeah. These people can't figure out that uh, the Democratic Party has been butt fucking them for years. Yeah. So you think they're really going to be able to figure out the nuances of fucking global intelligence? Not exactly. one prayer. Not like, one don't prayer. Don't tell me. Just do it. Don't tell me. We <laughs> all just want to know less, and then go to sleep at night in our ghost beds from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Right now, they've got a Fourth of July deal: thirty percent off of bundle packages. You heard that correctly, 30% off of bundle packages. So to put it in perspective, if you get a mattress, an adjustable base, some pillows and sheets, you're looking at a, a $1,400 savings there, which is fucking massive, mm-hmm. dude. And mattresses like this, they last, fuck, years. Goddamn 10 years, you typically. I think the average age of a mattress, people have them like 8 to 10 years. Yeah. Go get it now, kids. Uh, they've got a 36-month pay-as-you-go program. No interest on that. And uh, it is applicable with this deal. So if you get the 30% bundle package, congratulations. You can put that on a three-year plan and uh, knock that shit down about 35 bucks. Sleeping in comfort. Mm. Uh, also, if you order a mattress right now, you get two free pillows. And uh, the pillows are just as great as the goddamn mattress. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and get... On it. Hey, wait a minute. There's uh, Bobby Hobart mm-hmm. or Hobert. If he's, Maybe it's Hobert if he's, if he's uh, from uh, New Orleans. He's uh, he's uh, the uh, podcast rep from Liquid IV. He's trolling, not trolling, but he's he's lurking in here, fucking talking to the fans right now. Is he really? Really? Yeah. I, hey, I'm drinking. We love. What's his name? I've had two today. Liquid it's IV. It's Bobby H O B E R T. Bobby Bobby Hobert. Ho- we'll, we'll call him Hobert. I like Hobart. I like Hobart. Like Stephen Colbert's name is Stephen Colbert. Yeah. When his sister ran for Congress or whatever, it was like her name was Colbert. Col- yeah, Colbert. Like something, yeah. something Colbert and whatever her last name was. Um, yeah. He's, well, he uh, did it as a joke for Comedy Central, and then it just stuck. Yeah. You know? 
carried on. Yeah. He's uh, turned I'm into a real liquid, piece of shit, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he fucking sucks. I hate <laughs> Stephen Colbert. Um, I'm drinking liquid IV as we speak. We got trashed at the Had office to. last mm. night. We did a live show. Everybody was here, a bunch of guests. We got fucking rocked. I am crushing liquid IV. Go to liquidiv.com, promo code Drinking Bros, 25% off. Uh, this will fucking recharge you real quick. I've had two Daddy today. needs it. <laughs> My second, I told Alec, I was like, hey, man, go get me the biggest water you can find so I can put some Liquid IV in this shit. It's the best in the business. Go to liquidiv.com See? today, 25% off with no the promo code shit. Drinking Bros. H-O-E dash B-E-R-T. That's how he fucking said it. Yeah, I'm calling Hobart. him Hobert because no. I like it. I like it. Um, yes, but the party last night was uh, uh, because we were moving to Austin, Texas. Yep. Speaking of Austin, people, uh, in particular bar owners, are now protesting the new shutdown regulations at the Capitol. I know we were we said we were having that uh, election party kickoff. It's yeah. uh, Whiskey <clears throat> Tango Foxtrot's mm-hmm. Ice House. I heard they got popped for the COVID thing. Yeah. But people are going to start revolting. That's what's going to happen, yeah. man. Yeah, you can't. I mean, look, man. <laughs> There's no version of a second shutdown. Like no. the, people are worried about a second shutdown and stuff will get you. Like sports probably won't happen. Yeah. And to the, at least to the degree that we want them to happen. Um, but you're not going to be able to keep people indoors for another fucking six months. Well, none of that, but these like you're businesses out of your need mind. to be open. Like yeah. whiskey, whiskey Tango Foxtrot. <clears throat> I, I want that to be open. Yeah. Um, Doug, I hit up uh, Doug, hit me up from uh, Tactical Brewery. Yeah, I talked to him this morning. Which is one of our favorites. And I said, we're, look, we're trying actively to get Doug to move to Texas. Well, at open least up a tactical brewery there so we can have a live. Yeah, studio he's going to keep the one in with uh, the brewery Orlando, yeah, in Orlando, but, like, but just franchise it. Like, just come on down. Yeah, because their fucking beer is the best. It's the best. It's all about the brewer, too. I will say that um, him and uh, Wilmington Brewery, mm. my two favorites in the United States of America. Doug, if you were listening from tactical brewery, come to Austin, open up a brewery. We'll put our fucking studio in there. And everybody can get drunk around us every single day. Oh. Thirsty Thursdays? And we'll put ourselves inside of you. Oh, Come gosh. on, dude. We'll bring Thirsty <clears throat> Thursdays back, dude. Um, go, to, go to their fucking Instagram, uh, Tactical Brewery, and just say, yeah, say hashtag move to Austin. Right here. Just, just go to Doug on Tactical Brewery on uh, Instagram and say hashtag move to Austin. Say, hey, you little bitch. Yeah. Move yeah, go Austin. actually go to every single fucking Instagram <laughs> post they have. Yeah, and, and hashtag, say, hey, you move, hashtag to move to Austin at Tactical Brewery. Um, I love their beer, and we would love to have our own place there. Uh, and in particular, when I was talking to him, um, I said, "Hey, man, what are you going to do that your tap room is shut down?" And he's like, "Luckily, we're selling a bunch of like uh, growlers and cans and all that stuff." Um, so is Wilmington Brewery. When you have a great brewer like that. People will come no matter what to mm-hmm. get your beer. So luckily, he's able to stay in business. Because I asked him that. I said, hey, man, are mm-hmm. you in danger of <laughs> shutting down? He's like, no, nah, man, business is pretty good, thankfully. Mm-hmm. But bars and restaurants and all this other shit, man, like, it's the same as American Airlines. Don't treat it differently because it's a smaller store. Actually, go the opposite. Yeah. The, the, the most in danger to be shut down is the mom and pop places, not the goddamn American Airlines, but if it if American Airlines is having a problem, so is your local bar and restaurant. So I get it, man. <clears throat> we could start we could start a mom and pop airline. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Drinking Call Bros, it mom and pop. Drinking Bros Airline. <laughs> oh my Can you god! That shit? <laughs> Just fucking Jared, scumbags. Jared flying. Dude. Jared flying. We would oh. make we would do the same thing Delta did and make uh make the fucking video <laughs> to tell everybody how to do stuff. Uh, I mean, you have to do it because it's FAA, the you federal regulations to. Yeah, you have to. But they don't say how you have to do it. No. No, you don't. But we can do it in a way, like, we'll show what happens if you don't do the right thing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's just like the plane crashing. Yeah, Violent yeah. crashes, people oh. fucking dying yeah. everywhere. Uh, Super graphic. <laughs> yeah, women Holy on fire. Shit. Things like that. Um, in this store, are they really using the Bar Lives Matter? Their yeah, hashtag. that's their hashtag. hashtag bar, bar lives, lives matter. matter is what so, they're using yeah, for these. Bar, bar owners and drunk bastards everywhere protesting this shit. Uh, I get okay. it. Look, Austin is a city that I love rages. to see it. You and I were there opening night of Sixth Street. It was fucking packed. Mm. People I were going love bug to fuck. See this. Yeah, thir- thirty bar owners are actually uh, have filed a lawsuit against Greg Abbott, the the governor of Texas. Ooh, like Good, it. they should. I, like yeah. I, I know the uh, some gym owners filed a lawsuit against um, dickhead Roy Cooper. Here well, so did the fucking in North Carolina. They won. The, yeah. So did the the what is it called? The, the lieutenant, lieutenant governor. Governor. Yeah. Uh, Dan Forrest, who's yeah. running by the way against <laughs> uh, Roy Cooper this fall. Yeah, he's gonna win. <laughs> I hope so. Roy, Roy he, Cooper is universally disliked. I'm going to give some love point. to Dan yeah. Forrest because he has the best uh, side of the road signs that I've seen. Mm. It's run, Forrest, run. Mm. And it's great. 
Like, it's hard. Uh, I'm all in. It's hard. I'm all in. Is he wearing? Is he wearing the leg braces and shit? I, uh, if it, can you go to a commercial? <laughs> fam and leg braces <laughs> in an Alabama fucking out. uniform. Yeah, oh, yeah, that would be dope. I uh, gotta find Bubba, and he's just running in slow mo. Ah, oh, be so good. Here, here's what Greg Abbott said about this. By if the way, if his wife got AIDS too, that would be nice. Um. Well, after their first child, yeah. or during. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know. Uh, uh, at any rate, uh, so Greg, be Jenny. Greg Abbott says, uh, at this time, it's clear that the rise in cases is largely driven by certain types of activities, including Texans congregating in bars. How is that clear, Greg? Yeah. Where's <laughs> yeah, your yeah, fucking yeah. research, yeah. motherfucker, <laughs> that says that all these people that are claiming like, oh, it's not the protests, it's bars and, and gatherings and households. Motherfucker, you don't know that. No, you Here, don't know here's shit. How, here's how they're fucking saying they know it. People who are showing up to hospitals with COVID mm-hmm. are telling them where they've been for the last week. That's essentially that. This is the most inexact form of science. Self-reporting. Yeah. Motherfucker, yeah. shut your goddamn mouth, Greg Abbott. <laughs> God, I mean, he's like Professor X over there in his wheelchair too. I think he should go you know, full bald. At least make it look cool, man. Come yeah, on, do something. I, I don't know. I thought he was cool for a second, right? I, I did too, and, and then but, he fucking turned into a little snitch. Well, because here's why. Um, Texas opened up early, so did like Georgia know. and everyone else. And the problem is we're in we're four months to the day away from the elections. So people are now trying to decipher what voters are going to want at the polls versus what should actually happen. Mm-hmm. Um, because one of one yeah. of one of two things yeah. is gonna be true, right? Either people go out and get this and everybody's fine, and the people that came out and said, Fuck it, open the bars and restaurants, they're gonna win at the election, or you're gonna have dickhead Roy Coopers <laughs> who we're Somebody right. just typed wheelchair in the fucking wheelchair. I fucking forgot about that shit. Oh, oh God damn, dude. So fun. But that's what you're going to have come election day. <laughs> somebody's going to be right. Somebody's going to be wrong. And then the votes are going to go towards that. I think we should just go ahead and file a lawsuit against uh, Greg Abbott right now. Yeah, why not? Yeah, preemptively. Yeah. Like we're about to be there and you suck. Yeah, you suck. My first day there, I just We go thought on you were cool. To our suck my hog, yeah, bitch. We thought you were in. cool and now you're a little fucking snitch. And that's our lawsuit, by the way. What? I mean, why would you, if you're in a, Is wheelchair, he in a wheelchair? Yeah. I like, didn't know that. Why would you not dress like Professor X every single day? Yeah. I or would do FDR. You guys go with those little tiny glasses. But I'm he's so he's dumb. FDR I didn't glasses. know that. Did you really not know that he was in a wheelchair, guys? You didn't fucking know, did you? Jesse. Be yeah. really to be come on. You be did. honest you right know. now. You yeah. didn't know. You didn't know. He had a wheelchair look to him. <laughs> um, he looked son of a bitch. <laughs> you you a, didn't a real know. Wheelchair look look. To you. you know, he had a, wheel, he had a real wheel, wheelchair look in his eyes. It is I unfortunate because he was yeah. pretty popular before all this stuff happened. But this is this, that's what I mean. People are not going to tolerate it, my man. You read you read the fucking tea leaves wrong. Yeah, brother. And you uh, might lose your job because of it. And it's just, dangerous because he's a pretty he's been pretty good on gun stuff. Uh-huh. And Texas is in in danger of going purple. You know what I mean? Or or yeah. maybe yeah, yeah, even yeah, blue yeah. at some point. Yeah. Like there more and more people from out of state are moving in that are not Texans. Let's not get Dan Crenshaw in there. If he's not gonna run for president, be governor of Texas. That he should run for amazing. governor first before he runs for president if he, if that's Come his on. plan. Get in there. Crenshaw. Yeah. Go- I love Crenshaw. Governors are way more likely to be elected president than any other elected person. We're going to have him on the show in studio, by the way, when we get to Texas. Yeah. Um, he's Love fucking it. fantastic. Um, I'm a big fan of his. We'll, we'll put him in a wheelchair the whole time. <laughs> just to make fun of Greg Abbott. Yeah. Is that <laughs> fucked up? Bro. Yeah, it's a little fucked up. I don't think he'd do it. Bro. Eye patch and wheelchair. Is that like stolen valor if you are in a wheelchair and don't need one? Um, I yes. had I had a wheelchair like we, as a we, kid to if, play with. If yeah. we all showed up to one of... Uh, <laughs> to one of Greg Abbott's things, all in wheelchairs, and just yell wheelchair the whole time. Yeah. Uh, do you think he would be upset about that? I heard he, he's in a wheelchair because of COVID. Um, is that no, not true? No, I think it's uh, dyslexia. Ah, you're right. You're right. The dyslexia spread to his legs. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Man, that, every that's a, once a week. That's a once qu- a week for every day like we're on the show together you say what I think is the most fucked up thing I've ever heard and then next week it'll be something else oh, so I good. think dyslexia is spread to his legs yeah wait is that true Jared uh, Jacob Nickel he, he says a tree fell on when he was running and he got paralyzed is that true that's oh that's a God. that's that's know, fucked man. up yeah that's, that's a, a terrible way really not that there's up. any good way to get paralyzed but that's yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. how does that even happen like you're running in a tree fall like what's what are the, what chances, are the chances of that, that yeah. happens there are yeah oh, it's like getting struck by lightning yikes uh hopefully he's got enough kill cliff cbd he's uh, gonna need it 
to uh, to help him out. Get, get those, those legs working again. Yeah, get a little uh, <laughs> looseness in those joints. Gosh, false advertising. That one. No, but not yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. I'm not making any medical claims about Kill Club CBD, although I will make some medical claims about <laughs> Drinking Bros <laughs> podcast because a number of people have let us know that they don't have AIDS anymore because of watching the show. Yes. Oh, yeah. AIDS free. A lot. That's yeah. a fun thing. So, like 99% of our listeners are AIDS free. after. Uh, and we do this for show. free, by the way. Yeah. This show is free for you guys. It's free so. for you guys. We don't, we're not charging you. Um, no. We we, other people are behind paywalls. We're not. Nope. Go to KillCliffCBD.com and support the show. You can support the show by buying the products, though. So, um, this is the best in the biz. Everybody was drinking these last night, man. Um, this, we, we ran out at the office last Maybe night. Maybe that was the issue. No, I'm just joking. Well, we were mixing with vodka. That's the drink yeah. of the summer. Kill uh. CBD and vodka. 25 milligrams of CBD in every single can. Three amazing flavors. Grape. Uh, Orange Kush and Mango. If you go to KillCliffCBD.com today and use the promo code Drinking Bros, you get 20% off and free shipping. Cans are heavy as shit. That really takes a big chunk out of it. So go to KillCliffCBD.com today um, (laughs) and get 25 milligrams of CBD. You will not piss hot. There's no THC in this. Um, Otherwise, uh, you could sue them. Yeah. You you could. could, Probably could. I mean... Uh, look, they said it, man. The Kilcup's the best in the business, dude. Yeah, they're the best. They've, this has been going on for a while, so if somebody would have got it, they would have written into the show. Um, um, we don't, no, there's we no, it. like, just just how this works, by the way, the the uh, cannabinoids that they capture to make CBD drinks like mm-hmm. this, uh, you're required to capture them from a plant that has less THC concentration that you could piss hot for. Mm-hmm. So if it's like three parts per million, I don't, I don't actually know what it is, but whatever the limit is for a drug test, like the original plant has to have less THC than that. Correct. So yeah. they breed it out of them essentially. It's yeah. their clones. Um, and then they extract the rest of the THC as well. So it's like there's a zero THC in the stuff. Sure. Sure. Uh, <laughs> next up. Oh, KillCliffCBD.com. Uh, promo code Drinker Bros. 20% off. Next up. The U.S. is currently unable to deport, deport Guatemalans. Yeah, dude. This is the dumbest mm. shit. Yeesh. This one's just for fun because it's so ridiculous. Like I I wh- read that, this that, and lost my that's shit. That's where all the I'm fucking... I'm part Guatemalan. That's, <laughs> God fucking damn it. No, what? No. That's where all the fucking uh, refugees and immigrants are coming from now. It's not so much Mexico. Right. It's Guatemala. Yeah. And we've heard this story a lot where even from Mexicans who are just like, hey, man, they're coming up mm. through the country. Those are the ones that are fucking it's not trying to us, cross. bro. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of uh, so in Mexico, there's a lot of cartel activity in Guatemala. It's like gangs and shit. Ah, you know what I mean? Like MS-13, things like that. So um, I heard down there they put uh, the, the it's mostly members. women and children, though, because they're like the children are fleeing. But, and like parents are sending their children north because if you're a child in Guatemala, they fucking come find your ass and make you join the, the gangs, cartel yeah. or gang or whatever the case yeah. is. And uh, they'll put uh, a bunch of avocados in socks and beat you with it. Um, that's a that's a thing that they're like doing down there. Ripe, like ripe ones yeah, or unripe, probably. Unripe, yeah. unripe. Oh. Uh, a ripe one that won't even socks. feel. Nah, that'd be like fine. That'd actually, yeah. no, no. I'd feel good. You actually. could make a nice it's, mask out of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, it's the unripe ones. So mm, it's, mm, those are leaving mm. marks. I think I think down Renee, there. Renee, uh, however you say Zell her Wigger? last name, Zellweger. I don't know how you say your name. Is that it? Renee Ralau. Ralau is that how you say it? It's a great name. I wanted it to be something else, but that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Rilu, 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 yeah. uh, or something. She's drinking She's yeah. great. Um, but yeah, I, disappointed. This this whole thing, man. Um, Sorry about your last name. So I, <clears throat> we're in agreements here. These these people should be put on a fucking coast bar, coast guard boat and just shipped back. Or yeah, I mean, just put them on like those boats we used at D Day. Right. Fucking and send just, them on. How far is that that uh, ship travel from? Uh, like. I don't know, from San Diego to Guatemala. I don't know how long, how far it is. Good yeah. Luck. Yeah. Um, Probably like look. a seven day cruise. Something, right? <laughs> my, my question is this. If you're in Guatemala and you know this is happening, why are you having children in that environment? Like people, that, that's, look, that's, always, I mean, that's an, that un- argument can never, yeah, it, that's irrational. Yeah. No, people, like, people aren't going to stop fucking and it's not like Guatemalans have goddamn birth control. But I would exactly. Put kids it's in access a to birth control. Pull out. That is like, pull out, dude. Like, Jesus, it's just not gonna happen, man. Look, we're just sorry to tell you, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I like I would never put a kid in that situation. We watched uh, the story on Vice, I think you and I mm-hmm. about this, and that they they sent some a documentary crew down there, which the footage is crazy, and they right. interviewed her, and she said, "I'm gonna probably be killed for doing this because her son, 20 year old son, was killed right yeah. by the gang because mm-hmm. he wanted to get out of the gang. Um, first of all, he was a horrible person who killed a bunch of people, anyways, and it was just like." She was crying like he was some fucking martyr, and it was like, dude, he killed a bunch of people. Right. 
But down there, Either it's way. a different world as far as, so, like, he was saying, you're you're forced to the do kid, things. Yeah, the, the kid got taken into the gang at, like, 12 or 13 mm-hmm. or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. But then she had younger kids, and it was yeah. like, all right, cool. If the first kid was killed, why are you having more? Yeah, that one's a little weird. I mean, frankly, that's a little weird. After the first kid, you should know what happens and then be like, all right, maybe I should but fucking we're ease assuming up. that they are, you know thinking rationally have the means and the money but a mom have the- a mom protecting a child is as old as time right mm. it's I, like 2500 miles by boat so what is that 10 yeah. minutes is that a 10 minute trip how fast do boats go not that goddamn fast you no. idiot put them on a cigarette boat that'll, that'll go real quick um, you Anyways, know, yeah, we, we could just build another island out in the fucking like make. We, why don't why, well, why we, don't we turn that uh, Epstein yeah. Island into? Yeah, or make new oh. make new Australia, and just put it out in the Pacific off the coast. Right, right, right. And oh, just yeah. like throw all, figure you the know, fuck out people that we don't like there. Like yeah. you know, oh, yeah. these people. I don't understand it. Don't um, understand these it. are like to get deported back to Guatemala. By the way, you have to be like a repeat offender, mm-hmm. like a big time repeat offender, and uh, uh, or committed some kind of crime other than just unlawful presence they don't usually just deport people right off the bat for unlawful presence which right. is the statute that most people get deported for after they because uh, most of these people are fucking claiming uh asylum yeah, right? yeah 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 and with like their right to do it it's fucked down there if you're a mom and a child or a mom and some children and you're trying to get the fuck out of there it, we should probably try and help those people out but this the reason they're not doing this by the way is because america's got so much covid Mm. So they're telling us we can't send their sick citizens back to them. We have to house and and give them medicine. Great, and I'm sure that's oh, pretty man, it's cheap. like the <laughs> pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like when people that break into people's houses and sue them that they like when they get broke shot. their wrist or something yeah, 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 falling yeah. from the skylight or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Like, come on, man. Imagine yeah. the audacity of that, though. Is that your get fucked to the week? Is Guatemala? Yeah, great. Uh, and if you're gonna get fucked, okay. Uh, try GetRoman.com forward slash drinking bros. No better way to get fucked when you're all hopped up on the boner pills, my man. Ooh-hoo-hoo-hoo. Have you heard about these swipes that they have? Yes, I yeah. have. Are you guys doing it on Broettes? Yeah, yeah. Talk about the swipes. So I guess it's like almost like a little wet nap thing. It is, yeah. Keep it in your back pocket when you're ready to. Fuck. Yeah. You swipe that on your <clears throat> penis What's that real to do? quick, and it makes you last longer. Mm. No shit. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Fast Fuck acting, you. discreet. You could just look like you're cleaning it off really quick, which is great. Hold right? on. Let me use this moist towel right really quick to wash off my dog. Yeah, but I'd yeah. be like, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank it's you. Little con- do I know. Very considerate. Yeah. That's it's great. actually it, going to. I wonder if it numbs your head, you know, and then you kind of come back I to I don't life. know what it is. Right? People, I know I'm people not are a using doctor, it. I've heard about yeah. the swipes. Everybody's yeah. using this A lot shit. of people use it, yeah. Why yeah. not? Why not, dude? Or you can just get the boner pills. Uh, this dude I know one time put oro gel on his dick to make himself last longer. Baby oro gel? Couldn't oh, get, shit. Yeah, but couldn't get hard because <laughs> fucking idiot. Uh, obviously, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, uh, fair, fair, fair. Use, fair. Use, use medicine from actual doctors. From Roman. From yeah, Roman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to do that. Go to GetRoman.com forward slash drinking bros today. They come in a discreet package, these boner pills. Uh, your wife, your kids, your grandmama. Pets. Your grandfather. Your great grandfather will never know that you're getting boner pills. Sent your to your pet house. and your pets won't know until it's too late. You goddamn right. Blam. Until they're in a pet cemetery. Blam. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus. You can murder. You can murder a Dude, parrot with your dick. The, I'm on one today. I don't know what my deal is. How did the yeah. animals die? Uh, what? Well, Wait, what animals? Him. He's he said animal. that the I animals killed. were going to be in the pet cemetery. Oh, I, no, he after said that. You got Roman. No, he yeah, said that. What I what I what I said was that the pets won't know until it's too late. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then he said they're going to be in a pet yeah, cemetery. Yeah, but that's him. That's you not put me. your dick inside a parrot. It's going to die. That's no, you wrap them in duct tape so they don't explode. Everybody knows this. Come on. Ah, oh, you, you got to keep their, their parts inside. Yeah. I understand that. Same thing for squirrels. Any kind of small animal. You got to keep their little organs inside. I get it. I get it. Go to GetRoman.com forward slash drinking bros oh, no. today. We may owe them free a, doctor a free visit. read. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're cool, but I don't know if they're that. Free doctor oh. visit. Um, you don't have to go see a doctor, and it's free shipping. Those those boner pills will be at your house in 48 yeah, hours. Yeah, by the way, if you do uh, end up talking to one of the Roman doctors in the chat, don't mention any of this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They please, will not please, give please. you the drugs yeah. if you do Say, that. hey, man, um, when I take these pills... Is my parrot going to die? Because we heard on Drinking Bros podcast that if, if I fuck my parrot, it's going to die. Yeah, is that? Excuse me, sir. Can, yeah. can you confirm that? Tape? Yeah. 
<laughs> Wait, what? And it just says Dr. Whatever has left the chat. The yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Gupta has yeah. left the well, chat. Well, it better be. It better not be some fucking white man name. Yeah. yeah. I don't want That's a white the only, doctor. That is the only way in nope. which I am personally racist, in my opinion. Same. Like against, I've, I, just, I don't want white doctors. I can't do it. I want an Asian or Indian. That's it. You yeah. want to operate on me? I also don't like ding white. Dong? I don't like white babies that much either. Well, they're like all fucking round and doughy and weird looking. Sure. You know what? I, my favorite is like a fucking two to three year old black child yes. male Ugh. dressed like it's an adult. Favorite. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my cutest life. Thing like in like the a world. little black child dressed like an adult mm -hmm. is the fucking it, I, it. It kills me. Cutest I want babies one. on the planet. I'm getting one. Yeah. Well, you play your cards right. Asian I'm, I'm babies are agency. pretty freaking cute. Sometimes so if they're not the sumo round ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those, like those the are very, like yeah. that makes me worry about them because it looks like they have fucking diabetes or some yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. But the ones that are cute are fucking super cool. Yeah, right. white, white children are never cute. Never cute. No, not no. until they're like Ugh. they just look older. ridiculous. Um, I, I don't even post pictures of, of my kids until they hit a year at least. Yeah, know? well, you don't name the white baby. White people in general born, are pretty fucking ugly. Well, like as a stop as they get I'm older and get hotter. Saying like, no, no, white just our features and stuff. No. No, no, I feel you, you've taken it too far. Yeah, Jesse. The, we were on a good run with this show. We you were saying some fucked up shit. It, you ruined it. You ruined it. White people are percentage-wise uglier? Your yeah. white guilt has ruined it. Uh, Just next up. Stating facts. Yes, that was <laughs> Representative that was Adam guilt. Schiff um, says <laughs> we may all live in Canada soon. Um, we all may be moving to Canada soon is what he actually said, like for real, during a forum on social media disinformation and election interference organized by... Jorge Washington University, the chairman of the House of Intelligence Committee, uh, Rep. Schiff, said that uh, he gets the sense that there's something going on at Twitter that maybe we've reached the last straw for what the management of Twitter can take in terms of what uh, they're seeing as how the platform is being used. He also said that Facebook will need to be pulled and dragged into this era of corporate responsibility. The economic <laughs> incentives are simply too powerful for continuation of the status quo. He also called out Google for shifting their focus away from properties because uh, they don't want to look into it and reveal something they'll have to deal with. Yeah, basically he say, he's saying that they aren't doing any internal investigations because they don't want to find out what's happening. Correct. And I believe um, that. Of course they're doing that, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, the, the part that's funny to me is that he said that we may on, on go to Canada. If everyone in this country during each election cycle who threatens to go to Canada actually left, America would be fucking dope. Yeah, there'd be like It'd be so much better. Here. Like, get the fuck out. All you dum-dums that yep. wanted to leave when Obama got elected or when Trump got elected or when Bush got elected, fucking leave, bro, because we don't want you. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Uh, Canada doesn't want you either, by the way. Yeah. Don't no. think that you're just going to be able to stroll in there. Yeah. Because Emig immigrating to Canada is actually probably more difficult than immigrating to the United States because you have to have someone sign a letter that they are financially responsible for you for 10 years. Oh, like really? Like you have to have a sponsor, and they will, they will be financially responsible for you for 10 years. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. crazy, dude. Yeah. That's and cool. Uh, it's it's yeah. decade, eh? Yeah, it's great. Uh, I'll go. <laughs> and uh, this guy's a fucking retard, Adam Schiff. He's always saying dumb shit. He also looks to me like a fucking pedophile. Yes. He's got fucking short eyes. Yep. He looks like a fucking shorty to me. He didn't he, go full term. No. Um, he, uh, if I, like, I, I look at people and I can tell if they probably Ugh. touched a kid. He definitely looks like that to me. He does. He like looks. He's touched a kid. You, you know, there's uh, research that suggests like uh, 80. Put his, put his face up on screen here. Yeah. If you can. He looks like too. a fucking goober, man. Yeah, look at this dude. guy. Hey. Mm, yeah. Hey, guys, you want to talk about my leg hairs? Yeah, you want to play ball and then maybe lick some lollipops later? Oopsie, there's my penis. <laughs> He's. Uh, I don't have a baseball bat. It's just my penis. Yeah, He look at his eyes, man. God mm. damn it. He, does he not look like a, a pedophile to you? Yes. And there's there's Classic been some... There's, there's, there's look been at some, that. Put that photo oh, With the there. lips purse. Ooh. There's been some research that suggests that too. most people, just by looking at someone, can tell if a man is gay or not. Because gay men have very, it's not Probably. about it's not about the way they look. It's about their facial expressions yeah. and shit like that. Like it's it's a it was a it was research done on micro expressions and something like eighty three percent of people were able to identify correctly gay versus not gay in men. He looks shit. gay. He looks gay, right? So if you're out there and you look at some dude and you think he's gay, he's probably like 83% yeah. chance, I guess, based on this research that he's gay. So if he just sucks, start sucking his dick, I guess. I bet he, I bet he has his AIDS. Uh, check out the IDs of like young boys that he rents. Oh, I thought you were saying he had AIDS. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Which is uh, 
you know. I, wasn't, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. you can't really criticize somebody for that. That's just that is what it is. Man. Yeah. Some people have AIDS. Uh, next up, people waiting for IRS <laughs> refunds should expect extreme delays as 2020 gets even better. The National Taxpayer Advocates uh, Aaron Collins said in a report to Congress, the IRS had a backlog of 4.7 million returns Oof. for the 2019 tax year as of mid-May, uh, which is delaying refunds for many. Uh, they go on to say, while the overwhelming majority of taxpayers file electronically, Taxpayers who file paper returns are experiencing extreme delays in processing their returns. Many taxpayers are facing financial hardship associated with COVID-19 crisis and need the IRS to process their paper filed returns as soon as possible and release their I refunds. Be, I bet this is a lot of businesses, too, because it is. If you, when you go into a CPA, yep. like that whole situation, like the, the only people that are filing paper returns at this point are businesses and old people. We, and, people and, who need the goddamn money the most. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we uh, we use the CPA and he files uh, yeah. uh, personal taxes electronically, business taxes paper-wise, and it's like, you know, uh, I this isn't... I, I, I figured this was happening is, is what I'm trying to get out of here. Yeah. I, f- I figured this <clears throat> would happen due to everything that's fucked up and going on in the world, especially with people getting stimulus checks and all that other stuff. Well, the, that's the other big problem. I it. wanted to ask you something about this regarding... Uh, taxes are now due in November, I believe. Um, at, Is it November? I, I, I think they've pushed it back to November. It's not July 15th anymore? No. <laughs> are you fucking serious? I, I, be, I believe so. I believe so. Um, I don't know. That's my phone ch- My phone calendar fact, says tax day is July 15th. Fact check that, 15th. but I think they are moving it back to November, I believe. Um, that's what it I still says remember. Wednesday, July 15th. Oh, it does. Okay, so maybe I'm incorrect in that. Maybe if you file late, um, like mm. the deadline for extending. I mean, you can fucking extend forever. Really. Yeah. Um, but with this, Dan, a lot of people are saying, can we just, instead of sending out stimulus checks, can we just not file uh, federal taxes and just keep that money instead of <clears throat> this? That'd be better for the fucking business, to be honest. And it'd be better for the economy, right? Um, I mean, it would cost less money, but I guess it depends on what you mean by better for the economy. So... Well, as far technically, as it would cost taking us money. a loan for the P- stimulus like checks. citizens would get more money back. But if you if you're not doing all that processing, then IRS employees aren't getting paid. So I, I think it's like a push pull. You'd probably lose. I don't, I don't know if you can really determine okay. if it would be a, a win or not. But look, the ho- hopefully if you're um, unless you're somebody that claims a lot of fucking uh, uh, exemptions and shit like that, you really shouldn't be getting a lot of money back. Right, like, and I'm not saying that you aren't entitled to it. I'm saying you should keep more of your own money. So, if you're if you're getting like two, fucking four, five, ten thousand dollars back each April, mm-hmm. what you're doing is you're loaning that money to the government. Like you're, they're holding your money in escrow and fucking using it for bonds and and uh, securities and stuff like that. And they're making money off your money when you could be making money off your money. Correct. Yeah. So, if you fi- if you if you're able to file as an independent contractor, which is what we do. Mm-hmm. I take all my money for taxes. Like I take out thirty to forty percent of all my money and just put it in something that's an interest bearing account. Then I pull it out and pay my taxes at the right. end of the year. That's the way you should be doing it if you're able to do it like that. Yeah. Otherwise, you're getting fucked by the government. Well, you're always getting fucked by the government. In one way or another, yeah. yeah. In one way or another, uh, Joe Biden responds to questions <laughs> about his cognitive abilities, which is awesome. A reporter earlier this week asked Biden. Some have speculated that you were subject to some degree of cognitive decline. Have you ever been tested for some degree of cognitive decline? His answer was, uh, uh, look, all you got to do is watch me. Uh, I can hardly wait to compare my cognitive capability to the cognitive capability of the man I'm running against. The man I'm running against, because he couldn't remember his name. No, by the oh. way. Uh, so, <laughs> the, the man I'm running. He also against. said. Yeah. He, he also said that. Uh, oh yeah, I get tested all the time. Like, no, you don't, dude. Don't say that. Nobody says that. Like, nobody. You're, you're not going into a fucking doctor and getting tested for Alzheimer's all the time, dude. Yeah. There's nobody. That's Nobody's holding up true. flashcards in front of you every every week. Yeah. Look at him. He's such a fucking dummy. Uh, uh, so <laughs> not only does he have dementia, now he's fucking delusional. If he thinks he's, he's going to keep up with Trump. Dude, I like no that he, f- he forgot Trump's name. 
Um, and well, everybody he, is, is dying for these debates, by the way. The first one is in oh, August. So we're, it's gonna be we're getting close. really hard. I can't month. wait. They're gonna he that dude's gonna be so pumped full of vi- B yeah. vitamins and testosterone and whatever the fuck else they can get his fucking brain sharp with. Cocaine. Like yeah. Maybe cocaine. cocaine. Yeah. Serious question. What happens during a two hour debate when it's you can't go anywhere? What do you think's gonna happen? Now? I don't know, man. Here's what's gonna Earpiece? probably they'll they'll fucking um the DNC and RNC will try to fight for where the debates happen geographically, but also which network they're on, right? Correct. So they'll probably, basically, there's no other major conservative network. So one will probably be on Fox, and then one will be on MSNBC, and one will be on CNN. You can guarantee those latter two, they're just going to fucking rail on Trump. They're going to ask loaded questions. They're going to softball for Biden. They're going to fucking interrupt Trump all the time when he's lighting Biden's ass on fire. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see. It, it's going to be the the best theater of the year, better yeah. than any pay per view UFC fight you can get, better yeah. than all of it. Um, I, I don't think that any of the major cable news networks should even be allowed to p- participate in this shit. I don't either because they're completely full of shit. Yeah, and they're you're like, not how is that? Get how is that like who's objective? Like they're fucking Adam Schiff is talking all this shit about Facebook, Google, etc., Twitter for their essentially either through their incompetence or or willingly. Interfering with the election, right? Right. That's essentially what he's complaining about. How is fucking Fox and CNN and NBC, NBC not interfering with this election? Oh, com- like they're just spreading bullshit completely every single every goddamn single day. day. Like, get fucked with that bullshit. Um, by the way, uh, CNN's ratings, um, which is shocking. This is shocking. This is the highest ratings they've ever this month. Mm-hmm. Highest they've ever had in the history of their network. Yeah. So, when COVID comes back. Uh, that is big business for CNN. They were praying for this moment, and uh, and they got it. Trump is just like a super fast debater. You know what I mean? Like he's quick. Yeah. And he doesn't have any. There's and no. He's funny. There's he no can, line he the that he won't cross. Funny, so yeah. it's like I don't. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, well, we'll see how the next couple of months go because the next story is about the fucking jobs report. And once again, it is. And there's bre- there's breaking news here that I want to want to inject here. Boeing is killing the 747 jumbo jet, so they're not going to have that. Anymore. Are they going to take it out behind the shed and shoot yeah, it with a shotgun awesome. like old Yeller? Can you imagine if they shot it in black and white and it's just an old man going back out there with a the gun. fucking plane is like foaming at the mouth? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then he God. starts and then he starts crying and jacking off on the plane. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? What? They never talking? jacked off on the dog. Have you never old yellow? Have, well, you didn't see the same one I did. <laughs> <laughs> old yellow is that yeah. What you old said? yellow old is yellow. the porn version. <laughs> 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 uh, Go to Pornhub and check out old yellow. <laughs> old, old yellow. <laughs> 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 Anyway, R.I.P. to the 747. Uh, uh, you will be missed. You mm. will be missed. Well, they're just going to turn them into restaurants and hipster areas. Probably, yeah. yeah. Pro- oh, yeah why not? Fuck That's it. What they did with I'd... the trains? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are the worst, by the way. The they're worst. Every... They're like, always being, the worst. Being on a train. in a train car in Indiana. Remember? I know. Thank God we didn't. <laughs> being on a train sucks. Like, why would you take something Suck. that sucked and make it a restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, can you can you imagine? somebody opening a fucking restaurant and it's a fucking airplane fuselage oh like the worst place to be in ever and you're still sitting in the fucking same seats oh, oh, that close the together worst. they're pumping in fart yeah smell yeah, yeah. just a uh, big old fart tube and there's the plane oh they would call it the fart tube i think they would they would restaurant uh next up new re- new job report today shows the american economy is once again exceeding expectations. Record jobs gain of 4.8 million in June. <laughs> smashes expectations as experts predicted only 2.9. I can't stop thinking about jobs. jacking off on planes now. Or jacking off on the dog. Well, dude. either way. Yeah. On old yeah. yellow. Old yellow. <laughs> old yellow. <laughs> Let's get a fucking t shirt made and it's old yellow. Can it please be old yellow? <laughs> and it's a, it's a you gu- standing behind a yeah. dog, dude, that's just dead. It's got blood. It's got a gunshot uh, to it and you're yeah. jacking off on the dog. Yeah. Well, let's um, see. The, the, here's the thing. So this is good news for Trump. Obviously, uh, the market is through the roof today because of this. And uh, you know, say what you want about Twitter and whatever the fuck else he does. He does, this motherfucker knows economy, dude. He's able to somehow do this shit or make the right calls. I didn't know if these bailouts and stimulus things were going to mm-hmm. work. Same. By the way, same thing with Obama when he bailed out all that shit and uh, tarp. Right, yeah, tarp is the biggest redistribution of wealth from. 
the American taxpayer to corporate America mm-hmm. and the history of this country. Yep. Thanks, mm-hmm. Obama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like everybody that thanks Obama meme was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. People blamed him for a lot of like the weather and shit. Yeah. Uh, but that one, that's on you, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You fucked us big time <laughs> with both fucking balls inside our buttholes. <laughs> Like it's yeah. hard to get two balls inside too when you yeah. when you got your bone in there. Yeah, you really got to fucking. You got up. Boop boop. It's it's not comfortable boop, to boop. be honest. To go dick and balls in a butthole, it's not, not comfortable. At yeah. Not at all. But it's about pride. But pride. And it's Pride Month, so it well, not is. anymore, I guess. Uh, is that what yeah, it ended? Is that what Pride Month is about? Yeah. It's about oh dicks and butts. I guess. Oh yeah. Butts, yeah yeah yeah. Dicks and butts, dude. I mean, I'm proud of proud of everybody. <laughs> yeah, same here. Same here. I'm proud of this jobs report. Um, it's <clears> nice <throat> to see people going back to work and able to get jobs still. I don't know what's going to happen with the bars and restaurants and the shutdowns and all this other shit. Yeah. But uh, the numbers look good. This is a win today for <clears throat> Trump. And, so uh, congratulations. F- Four point eight million new jobs in June. Mm-hmm. Uh, experts predicted two point nine million new jobs. Uh, How the is unemployment. That even possible? Uh, well, people are going back to work people a lot. Are going but back these to are work. new. These are new jobs, by the way. These aren't fucking people yeah. going back to their old. So temporary layoffs fell from there were 18 million people who have been temporarily laid off since COVID started mm-hmm. and now it's down to after the last two months it's down to 10.6 million yeah. um so almost half have been have gone back to work now and uh the unemployment rate fell down to 11.1 percent and uh experts predicted it would be a 12.4 not bad no nope. Not bad. Uh, so at least he can hang his hat on that for today, and then they'll kill him tomorrow with something else. Well, I mean, you got to expect. I'm not. I'm not a conspiracy theory guy, but you got to expect Democrats are fucking pissed about this shit. Cause they, if he, if the economy is good in November, they have no fucking chance because that's that isn't about Trump or Biden or any of that shit. That's just American history. Correct. The economy is the number one predictor of fucking elections. And it, by the way, it, it is the reason why I vote the way I vote. Mm. It, 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 strictly, it, it is economy and whether or not. Uh, you know, jobs are created and everybody can support themselves. Everything else is, is secondary to me on that. Like, that's really all I give a shit about. Uh, to be honest that with to me, honestly, again, I'm not a conspiracy theory guy, but I think that's the, the thing behind all the fucking bar closings. Like America is an information and service economy. Mm-hmm. You're either working in tech or you're working in the service industry. Most people, like 60% of people work in one of those two things. So yeah. uh, you can't really shut down the information economy. Because no. it's you can access it from anywhere. Yeah, and you can do it from home. But you can you can fucking shut down the service economy anytime you want. Yeah, just by fucking saying so, right? Apparently, yeah, these governors are able to do that. So I didn't think ag- they could, but <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess I'm, they can. Again, yeah. I'm not a conspiracy theory guy, but if you're a Democratic governor, this is a great way to fuck Trump over. It yeah. is. Um, the only question is whether that will fuck you out of an office in November. No, nah, because you can just blame Trump. Yep. You can, but it, the people are going to vote, and I have a feeling this is going to come down to one of two things. Uh, the governors that opened up and the ones that didn't, because um, mm-hmm. business owners are going to get, there, get out there and vote, and they're going to be pissed off. Uh, next up, Jeffrey F. Epstein's uh, confidant, his little madam. Woo, he's a little madam. <laughs> Ghislaine. Big fan of that name. Yeah. Big, big fan of the spelling. Jelaine Maxwell arrested on sex abuse charges. Start the clock, folks. Uh, it is ticking. This this woman might be dead by the end of the show. Yeah, she may be dead already. And yeah. um, we talked about this a, a little bit on, on Ross Patterson Revolution this morning. More details have come out now that uh, she was arrested in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. She was up there with Bernie. <laughs> hanging Bernie. out. Bernie. Why? I have no idea why anyone why would ever go to. Look, New Hampshire is a beautiful state. It's a beautiful state, but it is, I think, a good place to <clears throat> hide, right? Very, like, small town. Well, apparently not. <laughs> I mean, if you're... No, w- but, I mean, she's been there, and we've known that she's been there for a long yeah. time. If oh, in New Hampshire? Yeah, yeah. I, so I and so heard I was just like, she was okay. on a yacht in, like, France or New no, Zealand. No, they had or... pictures of her at this house a while ago, and it's just very covered, wooded, whatever. Mm. Um, and it's, you know, it's small town, whatever. Bedford... New Hampshire. Uh, she was arrested around 8.30 a.m. this morning on charges. She conspired with Epstein to sexually abuse minors. Uh, she's expected to appear in federal court later today. Can't wait to see those pics. So they're going yep. to arraign her today. Yes. Uh, and I can't wait to see those pictures, by the way. Um, because wow, if she comes in looking like a fucking hot-ass <laughs> boss, mm-hmm. the numbers are going to go up on that book deal. Uh, I got to get him quick before she well, gets she's, suicided by yeah, the Clintons. She's not going to be able to do a book deal. No. I mean, Why she not? can do one, but like, so if you do a... You can't make any money from it. Yeah, if you make money from a criminal enterprise like that, then all that money just gets taken away by the government. No, I did not yeah. know that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So anyone that writes a book in jail or whatever, yeah, like, right? Like if prison? I did it, for example. Yeah. Yeah. If he had been convicted, 
mm-hmm. he would have lost. He would have not, not been not able to get any of that money <clears throat> yet. That is fascinating. So it, oh, the Luckily book deal didn't. would only be if she wasn't. For well, some here, reason. here's the deal. She. The, First of all, she is absolutely cutting a deal with the federal government. Yes. Like, if anybody doesn't yes. think that's happening, you're fucking out of here. She's not going to stand tall for a dude that got it's suicided dead. by the Clintons, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, why yeah. would she? So, But uh, she also doesn't want to get suicided, so maybe she won't. No. Okay. If she, here, here's the thing. She's definitely going to get suicided, I think. Okay. I, don't, I don't think there's any chance this woman lives through the rest of this fucking year. There's no chance. So, all right. So, n- knowing now what you told me, if you can't write a book from jail, mm-hmm. right? Let's say she says, look, I will give you every single person in the history mm-hmm. of fucking Jeffrey Epstein's little <laughs> black book. Give me immunity. Mm-hmm. Get me out of this. Let me. And then, then yeah. let me do a book deal. They might do that. I told Jesse this morning, um, that book deal... My, my guess, knowing that climate, is 10 to $15 million. And I would side on the high side and, and probably mm. go 15 on this one. Um, because she knows <laughs> every single famous person, every single thing they've done. Mm. And uh, you might as well take that money if you're going to get suicided anyways, in my opinion. Uh, and just bring down the whole fucking system. Now, Jesse, you think that, that she's not going to say shit. Yeah, no. I don't think she is. Or, like I said, if she does... We're not going to hear about it. Why take a bid for a dead man? Um, it's not a dead. I mean, she'd be taking a bid for everyone that she is involved. Yeah, with. I don't know. I don't know what but, her relationship is with all these other ancillary characters like the Clintons, Prince uh, Andrew, Prince Andrew yeah. and fucking who knows who else. We right. have no, we actually have no idea how far this goes. But this is an, it's it's super important that they have her in custody mm-hmm. because it's one thing to have flight records and all this other bullshit of people going wherever the fuck they were going and 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 uh documents emails going back and forth like that are like look even if a guy is like directly saying i want a 17 it's not illegal to say i want a 16 year old girl waiting for me when i get there that's not illegal Mm -hmm. being with the 16 year old girl and fucking her that's the illegal part right so without having a corroborating witness that say yes that happened this is this person like being the fucking Rosetta Stone for all the communication and all that bullshit. Plus saying, yep, he was there then and all the timelines and yeah, stuff. Yeah. That's important. Well, so. every um, <clears throat> like victim that's come forward talks about her and her oh, yeah. being. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So as far as like witnesses. But again, I don't know how silenced these people are because of deals in the past that yeah, they got sealed. So I don't even think these victims can talk. Uh, maybe one of them. That's how this even happened. You know, that'll come out. But list of people that she was involved with Mm -hmm. in any way Mm -hmm. you know the clintons both bill clinton she was at chelsea clinton's wedding yep chris tucker david coke sarah chris tucker the comedian yeah Yeah. so they were elon musk kevin spacey uh michael bloomberg mick jagger naomi campbell you know uh prince andrew obviously um wow I don't know. So these are people that are directly involved with her. That's mm-hmm. not Epstein. That's like with her. Sure. Mm-hmm. Via. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen with this. And I don't. There's there is some reason why she wasn't. Like I said, when we were in the other studio, mm-hmm. when we were doing this. When we first reported on this, I was like, what about this girl? Like, this is the person you need to talk to, not mm-hmm. even him. Because right. he's the one that got all of his you know, cases sealed that you can't even reopen. Sure. She hasn't. Mm -hmm. So why are we not? But there must have been something going on that they haven't arrested her before now. And I think that will come up. I I wonder. um, I would say this. Like, I'll I'll say this. I mean, is there any... Besides the election this year, I think this is the second biggest news story of the year. Because if she does talk, it will bring down everyone. Bring down... I mean, bring down the entire house. I wonder if the delay in arresting her was... Um, like if you, if you, if you think that she's a flight or suicide risk or that she's a danger from some third party or some shit like that, you take her into protective custody. So I don't know if they, I don't know what they've been doing. I don't know if there's been proffering sessions. If you're not familiar with the proffering sessions, basically where you can go into, uh, you and your attorney can go into a room with the prosecutor and you can admit to everything and none of it is admissible. You can say whatever the fuck you want and then they make you a deal. And you you can you can accept her, but nothing nothing there. Proffering session sticks basically, yeah. and it's inadmissible in court. Um, I don't know if that something like that's happened or whatever. They've been super quiet about. Like it's incredible to me that this woman's been out for this long and Absolutely. not not been arrested. Think about something, how long ago that was. It's that very we were bizarre. Like, 
she's widely known to have been at the exact level, if not more of a mm -hmm. uh, in charge person since the beginning. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit crazy. It's not like, oh, just this kind of person on the side. Right. <laughs> it's uh, it's nuts, man. I, 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 I think I just, it's crazier than the Epstein thing. Look, the man, Epstein I, thing was what it was. I, I it was want, very out in the open. I want to hear all of it, and I hope this goes down. Yeah, me too. I know, but I just don't and think if it that's going to happen. Did, to me, this is one of those things, and again, I'm not fucking one of those fucking dum dums that think that armed revolt against the government. Like we should just take control of our government. Yeah. Not there's no there's no need at this point for armed revolt or anything like that. But if they continue to hide pedophiles in their ranks, I feel like we should attack them in some way. Not necessarily physically, but right. the government would have to pay dearly for that. Maybe even go away entirely. Like I don't mean we don't have a government in America anymore. I mean all these people that are in government right now need to go. Yeah. Get the fuck out. And then just have a reboot, just yeah. a re-election for all these offices. <clears throat> and I just want to say, like, you think she's going to do the right way, right thing in any way. Like, yeah. she was 10 million times worse than Epstein. So oh, you're not yeah. dealing with someone that thinks rationally, thinks about other people, anything like this. Like, mm -hmm. this is a horrible person. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what yeah, she's the a fuck giant piece of Well, happen. I mean, giant piece of shit. Horrible people typically have one thing in common, and it's self-preservation. Right. So we'll so see. So we don't know. Let's find out. Uh, last but not least, the Queen is having a real shitty week. Apparently, Queen Elizabeth's <laughs> vacation home, Balmoral Castle in Scotland, is being used as an outdoor toilet. Yeah, there are people like, there. Uh, nothing to do, right? It's in Scotland. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, not that there's nothing to do in Scotland, but there's no, because of the lockdown, there's nothing to do. Yeah. So people are like going out on trails and shit like that. Yeah. And this one is near a bunch of fucking trails. So people are just like fucking stopping by the castle and dumping out. Just defecating like, all over the outside of they're, her. They're dumping out house. and then w using wet wipes and just leaving everything right there. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. a construction so, site. Yeah. yeah. So the, <laughs> the people that run the castle have pleaded with folks not to do it. Like go try to stay a couple hundred feet away from the castle, bury your dumps, all this other stuff. Bury your dumps, huh? Yeah. Well, that's what you do when you're. In the like in the field problem in the military, you bury your shit. You do don't you, just fucking you, shit. Do places. you guys yeah. uh, have a eulogy for it? Uh, no, no. Okay, you should. No, but yeah. I do. I do put holy water on it. Yeah. In nomine patri vili. It's spirit of sancti, and I mm -hmm, fucking mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just carry on with the rest of my day. That doesn't seem it like doesn't need to anything be weird, though. Like him doing it. It's not no. as weird. As, no, no, no. no. It just no. seems like not as weird. Just expect it. That's why I'm laughing so hard. It's definitely not as weird as jacking off on a dead dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like out of Old the yellow. things that have been said today, that one was very normal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now we come to the drinking bro of the week. This one was submitted by. Oh wait! Before we get to that, sure. There was another part of this story. <laughs> They said, uh, if, here's what they said. If you need to pee, please do so at least 30 meters uh, from locks or streams. If you need to defecate, do so as far away from po as possible from all the blah, 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 blah. Um, like, bury your feces in a shallow hole and re replace the turf. So this is a golf course. Yeah. Uh, they have the audacity to talk about locks right now. Are you kidding me? With Loch, <laughs> Loch Ness Monster is making a comeback. You want me to dump out the fucking water? Yeah. Get my fucking butthole nibbled by a little dinosaur? It's not, not happening, brother. Even Don't. close. No bud. fucking way. That's yep. a Brachiosaurus, by the way. It's Nessie, dude. Yeah. And we're not doing it. I'm not fucking getting, like, I'm afraid enough of snakes coming up through my fucking turlet and nibbling on my butthole. I don't, I don't need, need this a dinosaur in my life. No, trying to no. take a, a bite out of my asshole. No, fuck no. that. Me neither. I'm not doing it. Uh, Jesse does not believe in Loch Ness Monster. She no. has earned the nickname Nessie Wiseman. Um, because of it, and I'm sorry you're not a believer, but uh, welcome to the real world. So I world. need to believe in fairy tales to get my name back. Yes, you do. Otherwise, you're Beautiful. Nessie Wiseman, dude, until it's Beautiful. proven that there is not a dinosaur living among us. Uh, the Drinking Bro of the Week is submitted by Jonathan Williams from Oklahoma. Uh, he's been a member of Drinking Bros for three years, and he's nominating Sergeant Craig Johnson. On June 29th, 2020, Craig sustained multiple gunshot wounds along with another officer in Tulsa during a traffic stop, one of which was a critical wound to his head. Mm. After undergoing surgery, Craig's prognosis did not improve, and he was placed on life support to give his family time to say their farewells. On June 30th, 2020, which is three days ago, in a decision made with his family, Craig's organs were to be donated mm. uh, as his final act of service to our community. Tulsa Police Chief Sergeant Craig Johnson officially passed away June 30th, 2020 at 119 p.m., leaving behind his two young boys, his wife, his parents, and hundreds of his brothers and sisters with the police department. 
Uh, cheers, man. This is a, a heartbreaking story to read. Mm-hmm. And, and, and if you're out there and you're talking about defunding the police and all this other bullshit, like what's going on with the LAPD right now? Um, where last night they said that they've begun the process of uh, defunding the police and having community fucking watchdogs or whatever the, the fuck they're going to call themselves go to nonviolent calls from uh, 911. Good fucking luck. Because the, the problem with that is you're going to run into something like this. You're going to come up on somebody. You have no fucking idea if they have a gun or not. And they're going to pull it. And uh, congratulations. What are you, what are you going to do mm. with your fucking <clears throat> finger gun um, or your, your bear spray? I don't know. England, uh, they have a lot of unarmed police. They do. It's weird. And now they're all, they're all getting knifed to death. Yeah. So, yeah. Like it's like it's uh, I, I just don't see how that's feasible. I don't either. Uh, and if Not you, in America. No, least. there's no way, man. It's fucking stupid, like you, man. You never know. Like it. That, it's something that sets us apart from other countries, and it's that rebellious anti-government attitude that the country was founded on. Where you know, it's not just about like I, to me, I I don't understand why more people aren't super critical of shitty police from the conservative side because mm-hmm. that's everything you fucking believe in is anti-authoritarian bullshit, right? Um, but in this case, th- this this fucking pipe dream. That we can send fucking librarians out to deal with criminals? Like, get the fuck out of yeah. here, man. Who are you going to call when that person gets fucking shot? The other thing is... The real cops. For every, for <laughs> and every, then it's double. Yeah, but for every George Floyd there is, there is, a, there is an officer who has gotten killed in the line of duty as well by some fucked up person. Like, yeah. Um, but they that does not gain any press. That does not gain any attention. I, I don't know who this is. Right. Um, I, I don't know who Sergeant Craig Johnson is. And if somebody... if. Uh, Jonathan Williams didn't submit this to the show. I would never fucking hear mm-hmm. this story in a million years. Mm-hmm. No, uh, and that's what's yeah. shitty about all of this. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, yeah, there's no. Um, I think Fox actually for a while had a spot uh, below the fold in their digital publication that was like honoring cops or whatever the fuck. I don't mm-hmm. know if it's still going on or not, but I know that I think last year nine unarmed black men were killed by cops. I think is the number. Forty eight cops were killed. By people in the line of duty, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like everybody's losing something here. We don't, we don't have to be against each other in this fight. Like it's a problem to fix. Like if if you show up in any situation and there's something happening and you just start fucking getting angry and blaming everybody for stuff, nothing ever gets done, right? Yeah. Like if you guys go home and your fucking shitty kids have made a mess, right? You will. The mess still has to get cleaned up at some point. So what's the point of all the fucking preamble anger bullshit? Right. You know what I mean? I just don't get it, man. And shutting down the economy will make it even worse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And if, and again, dude, <laughs> if you're saying. out here and you're hearing a story like this, uh, like about Sergeant Craig Johnson, mm. what makes you want to become a fucking cop in today's world? There's no, I mean, our friends are no leaving. Incentive. Yes. Like, yeah. there's, no in, there's no incentive. Yeah. And I don't blame you. Fuck. I, I know Mike the cop took some heat after he did that episode with us. Yeah. And, and they were like, well, why would you leave? Whatever. I, I, put your family. You do it. And yeah. friends <laughs> first and your kids first and all that shit. And like, Know that this is a thankless job and people are going to fucking shit on you anyways and try to kill you. Why? Yeah. Why do it? If they're, if you were getting a quarter million a year, fine. You know, absolutely. But for that pay and, and for all the bullshit you have to go to, go through for this, like, it's fucking stupid. Yeah. Um, so is the world right now. It's fucking crazy. That's why we do the fake news every single week. Subscribe to Drinking Bros Podcast on YouTube. Go to uh, our iTunes account and uh, rate the show a five star and leave a quick review. It'll help uh, get us on up the charts. Thanks for tuning in every day. Uh, next up tomorrow nights is uh, Savage Saturdays, as always, with Derek Wyda. Um, for Danthony D'Anthony Holloway, Nessie Wiseman, uh, I'm Ross Patterson. <laughs> this is Drinking Bros. Shut up. Fake Shut news. Up. Good afternoon and night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>